Some call it the silent killer. 30% of those infected with Chagas disease will die, and most will not even know they had it. It's caused by a parasite that's carried by a bug found right here in the valley. Local 23's Mike Jimenez shows us this year there's been an alarming increase. Well, they bite you, they get the blood. Dr. Fati Feria started researching the kissing bug, or Kono's bug, back in 2010. We always had had these kissing bugs here in the valley, but very few attention uh, uh, from researchers had been put into the, the um, insect. She says the insect is dangerous because it is a carrier of Chagas disease. Earlier this year, Texas A&M AgriLife issued a warning about the increased risk of Chagas disease. Dr. Fedia says adding to the dangers is the lack of knowledge in the region. About 80% of the people that answered the survey didn't have an idea about how bad are kissing bugs or even that we can control kissing bugs. The kissing bug is a night crawling insect attracted to the carbon dioxide we release. So it is attracted to areas around your face. If it bites you, it will leave behind a parasite. I mean, has to defecate on someone and then the person rubs those feces into their eye or into a wound, a break in their skin, and that's how the parasite enters the body. Researchers here at UTRGV say you might not even feel or notice a bite mark, but once the parasite enters your bloodstream, you typically only have a few weeks to detect it. And here's an example. How this once it's in the bloodstream, it will circulate through the acute phase of the disease. And the parasite will multiply locally and it will be in the bloodstream. You could develop complications like an enlarged heart or heart failure. You could also suffer from gastrointestinal complications like an enlarged throat or colon. Most will not show any symptoms and remain asymptomatic for life. And some can live up to 30 years after being infected. So it's important that people who are chronically infected do get evaluated and, and treated if it's appropriate for them. Um, because we, we have data that shows that it can reduce their chances of developing serious disease. Entomologists at Texas A&M AgriLife Research are also studying the insect. At a collection site in Mission, they found 300 adult kissing bug specimens. At that same location last year, they found only six. They did see an alarming increase in the number of kissing bugs collected this year. Now, whether that's a, a new trend uh, that we're going to continue to see, or if for some reason it was a good year for kissing bugs, uh, will remain to be seen. The majority of the bugs studied were carriers of Chagas disease. They found that roughly 50 to 60 percent of those bugs are carrying the parasite. So yes, we have kissing bugs here in the valley, and yes, Chagas disease is also um, pretty well established. Dr. Fedia says she found similar results and adds the valley has the perfect climate conditions for the bugs to thrive. Colonias. So colonists are at risk to have these insects around because the openings, the lack of the infrastructure. Pets are also at risk, so you should check their kennels and protect your homes by turning off lights at night, sanitize areas, and seal off cracks. Putting Local First in Edinburgh, I'm Mike Menace.